What's going on guys? John Alder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to automatically create a user profile whenever we create a new user for our Twitter app with Django and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to automate the process for setting up a user profile every time we create a new user for our Twitter app. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos to teach the code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships on my courses, videos, and books, for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video, we worked on setting up users and profiles, and we associated the profiles with the users. In this video, we want to set up a process that automatically sets up a user profile every time a user is created. So you join the website, you create a user, that user automatically gets a profile. We're also going to take that profile and follow itself. So anytime you tweet, you'll be able to see your own tweets. So we're going to want to follow ourselves. So we'll do that as well in this video. Hope you guys had a great Christmas. Got a couple of days before New Year, so I'm cracking out some videos as fast as I can. Hope you guys had a great Christmas. We had a great Christmas here in Vegas, and yeah, pretty nice. So, okay, we head over to our app, and this is our Musker app, clone of the website, Twitter. And if we head over to our admin section, we've got this users. And when we click on them, we've got a few ones. Now, if we want to add a new user, and I should say, in future videos, we're going to make all this work on the website itself. So we won't have to go through the admin area. But just for now, while we get the mechanisms all set up, we're going through the admin section of our Django website here. So here, if we create a new user, you know, test, that will create a user, but that user won't have a profile. So if you click on, for instance, April, you see April has a profile and it lists who she follows. She's not actually following anybody because none of these are selected. So what we want to do, like I said, is anytime we create a new user, that user automatically gets a profile. We don't have to manually create that profile. And we're going to do that using a hook and a signal. And if you're not familiar with Django signals, head over to the documentation, docs.djangoproject.com slash en slash 3.2 slash topics slash signals, and you can read all about them. I'm not going to get into this in great detail. You can read this if you're interested. I'm just going to actually do it, right? So uh, we'll start using it. But uh, pretty simple to do this, and uh, that's what we're going to do in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Django series, so check that out if you haven't so far. Let's head over to our models.py file, and up at the top, we need to import a little something. So let's go from Django.db.models.signals. We want to import host underscore save. So basically, this is anytime you save something to the database, after you save, post save, we want to do something. We want to send a signal, a little hook, and do something, right? So in our case, anytime a new user gets saved, we want to do something. In this case, we want to add a user profile. And we've already associated our user with the profile right here in this one-to-one -one field. We've also associated follows, so a user can follow many other users, right? And what we want to do is create profile when new user signs up, whatever, right? So let's create a function. I'm going to call it create underscore profile. And now we need to pass a whole bunch of stuff. We need to pass who the sender is. We need to pass that instance that the thing is, right? The new user signing up that instance. Uh, we want to pass created. And we also want to pass some quarks. And the reason why we're also passing quarks here is because this will also send all kinds of other garbage, not garbage, other stuff. And uh, the quarks will just sort of account for all the other stuff. We don't really care about that other stuff, so we're not going to worry about it. It'll get sucked up in the quarks, so to speak. So, okay, we've got this guy. Now, let's say if created. So if a new user has been created and Django just you know knows what that is, then let's go user underscore profile equals profile. Now, what user are we adding a profile for? Well, well, whatever that instance is that we passed in there, right? So whatever this new user is, send it over to our profile, which is remember this guy up here. There we go. Misspelled instance. Instance. There we go. Now we just need to save that. So let's go user underscore profile dot save. Okay. Now we need a mechanism to actually do that. So let's sort of connect our signal here. Let's go post underscore save. Remember, we imported that right here, right? And then we want to dot connect. And then we want to create a profile, which is this thing right here we just created, right? And the sender is going to be our user. There we go. That should do the trick. 
Now, this should work, but it won't automatically follow itself, right? So if a new user signs up, it'll have that new user will have a profile, but that profile won't necessarily follow itself. And you want to follow your own profile because later on we want to be able to show our own tweets that we've tweeted on our profile page, right? So to do that, we need to follow ourselves. So we can do that in just a minute by modifying this a little bit. But first, let's just sort of make sure that this works. So let's save this, head back over to our app here, head over to our user section in our min area here, and let's try and create a new user. And uh, let's call him Steve. And let's save. So now here we have Steve. And if we click on this, and if Steve has a profile, hey, Steve does have a profile. So this works, right? Now you'll notice Steve right here is not following Steve. If, it, if Steve was following himself, this would be selected, right? Now, if we save this and then come back, we can see Steve is highlighted because now Steve is following himself. But we had to do that manually. We, want, we don't want to do that manually. We want that to happen automatically whenever Steve signs up. So let's delete Steve. We don't really need him. And let's try this again. Let's head over to our code. Now we could just modify this right here to say, hey, follow yourself whenever you sign up, right? And that's pretty simple. We've got this follows thing right here, right? So we can go, let's say, have the user follow themselves. So we can go user underscore profile dot follows dot set, right? So this follows is this. We're saying, hey, set this to follow somebody. Well, who do we want to follow? Well, we want to follow ourselves. Well, what is that? Well, we use these square brackets and we just say the instance of the user that is signing up dot profile dot ID. We want to follow this user's profile ID, which gets created. Remember our migration automatically gives us an ID. We didn't even do that when we set up this model, but Django always gives an ID to things in models, right? And it's auto created. So every user has a number. So you might be number five or whatever. If you're number five, when you sign up, this will get passed in as five and you will follow five, which is yourself, right? So pretty simple. That's pretty much all there is to it. Now we've saved it here. We've then made another change. Then we need to save it again. And the reason why we're doing this twice is because there has to be a profile created. It has to be saved in order to follow it, right? So we have to save it once and then save it again, right? Okay, that's all there is to it. So let's go ahead and save this. Head back over to the website. Give this a try. Let's add a new user and we'll add Wes and let's save. Now, if we click on Wes, Wes should be highlighted in that list and he is right there. So automatically now Wes is following himself just by signing up as a user. And that's what we want. So very cool, very easy. If you're not familiar with signals, give this a read. This is really useful information. And we did this a little bit different than we see in this documentation. For instance, they use this receiver decorator. And instead of doing that, we did this post.save.connect thing. You could do a decorator if you wanted to. We could comment this out, come up here, and just create a decorator and go, you know, receiver and then post underscore save and set the sender to the user, right? So this pretty much does the same thing as here, except for up here, we need to import receiver. So we would go from Django dot dispatch, I want to say, yeah, we want to import receiver, right? So this will allow you to use this little receiver decorator. And you could do it like this. This whole thing is pretty much the same as this whole thing. But, you know, we have to import this receiver thing and, uh, you know, add that line of code. So instead, I'm just going to keep it like this because, hey, this works. <laughs> it, it, I don't know. To me, it seems a little more intuitive to say, hey, whenever a new user is posted as saved, we want to connect to the profile and, you know, do a thing, right? So, I, it kind of just makes sense in my mind. So I do it like this. Uh, but if you want to use this decorator, you could do it like this and just add that thing up here that we just added. 
either way works the same and that's all there is to it. So we are moving right along. We've got all this stuff working on the back end in the admin section. Now we want to start to push all of it onto the website so users can go to the website and sign up instead of going to the admin section because a normal user is not going to log into your Django admin section and add themselves like that. They're going to fill out a form on a web page. So we'll start to get into all that. We'll also set up the mechanism where you can click on a user's profile to follow that user or unfollow that user. We'll get into that too in the next couple of videos and uh, we are moving right along. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students to learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.